Now, I'm giving you pronunciation tips on things to say in Norwegian and Swedish, but I've been avoiding Danish, and there's a reason for that. Danish is weird. The relationship between spelling and sound in Danish is unexpected and inconsistent. On paper, Danish looks like Norwegian, but when you hear it, Danish sounds like Norwegian that got left in your pocket and run through the wash. So, for instance, the phrase meaning, I don't understand, in Norwegian, as I've told you, is, jeg forstår ikke. In Danish, it's, jeg forstår ikke. So, but I can't let you get away without knowing the names of a couple of cities in Denmark that I'm sure you're curious about. I'm not going to tell you about Copenhagen. You can just say Copenhagen. You go there, they all speak English. You don't have to try to say Copenhagen. Okay? And you can just ask for the Little Mermaid. You don't have to ask for the Lille Halfru. But I do want to tell you about the double A cities. You've seen these on maps. They probably look like Alborg and Aarhus to you. Well, <laughs> now, first of all, about those double A's, they stand for the same thing as the A with a ring on it. So you will see them written both ways, with the double A or with the A with a ring on it. But this being Danish, it's not completely consistent. So, Olbo. Got that? Olbo. And Aarhus. Aarhus. I'm sure if you're from Denmark, you're going to point out that I've made slight mistakes. And that's because I almost certainly have. I'm sorry, guys, but your language is really, really daunting. You think English is hard to learn how to pronounce? But the good news is, if you're an English speaker just trying to say these in English conversation, you don't have to say Ulbo or Ohus. Actually, people will probably say to you, oh, um, swallow before you talk, or are you feeling all right, if you try to do that. So just say Olborg and Ohus. Got that? Olborg and Ohus. That's it for today. Skål.